Right, YouTube, how's it going? Don't usually do two videos in one week, but I was kind of, I got a delivery yesterday of Aldered Aria Pro 2 Era pickups for this Aria Pro 2 Mad Axe that I've got, which was my first ever base that I bought myself. And I bought this in 1998. Uh, up until then, I was kind of borrowing bases and stuff, but this is the first base I ever bought. <laughs> So May came yesterday, I started stripping the Aria Pro down because I had it all blacked out. Black bridge, black, obviously saw black pickups, black machine heads and stuff. Uh, while I was doing that, I started stripping the belly sheen because I wanted to shim the neck because saddles are sitting too close to the plate and the adjusters are sitting too much when you're playing it, it was kind of hitting your hand. So when I did all that, I decided, I wonder how it would look, this P-Base neck would look on the Aria Pro. So this is how I've done this. Uh, and now it's done, I kind of like it. Uh, it still needs a wee bit more set up, uh, fine tuned to the way I like my bass is playing, but it is playing, it is nice low action. Uh, got a set of roll sounds on it. It's not a uh, half step tuned for uh, guns and Roses yet, but I'll, if I decide to keep it that way, I'll, I'll fine tune it to do that. But the problem I've got is, if I do do that, uh, I'd still put the original uh, Aria Pro 2 pickups in it. Because once it's done, it's, once they're in, they're staying in, not coming back out again. Uh, plus, Doug McKagan's has got, you can see the pole pieces in his, so I would definitely change them. But the other problem I've got is that a Pro 2 neck would be kicking about, not on a guitar. Because then I would have to try and find another neck for the Billy Sheen, because I wouldn't put the Aria Pro 2 on that. And I'm not going to sell the Aria Pro 2 neck, because I'd keep it, because I'd want to have all my original parts. So the option would that be, but put that in a box, put all the parts from the Aria Pro, and just store it somewhere, and then find another neck for the Billy Sheen. So, I don't know. Because uh, it does look like, it does look like uh, Duff McKagan's bass, now that I've blackened the headstock and stuff. Difference between this and but, uh, the jazz bass special that Duff uses is one, one, it's a Fender. The electrics are different. <coughs> He's got a volume for the neck, volume for the bridge, end of it, two, two separate volumes. So one for the neck, one for the bridge. Then he's got a master tone and a selector switch. I can see the point of having the selector switch uh, on the guitar itself because obviously you can can have the volume slightly down on the bridge or vice versa or the, uh, the neck and select between the pickups. But the way Duff plays it, that doesn't make any sense because he plays with everything up and both pickups on. So... I don't know. Uh, so it doesn't really make a difference to me. I could do it. I could take off the selector switch, put in, wire the jazz into another uh, volume pot, and then drill a hole and put a selector switch to make it the same. But I wouldn't do that because it just destroy the guitar. Uh, so I don't know what to do. I'm going to keep it like this for a wee while. Uh, do the fine tuning, put the pickups in it, and play it for a while and see how it goes. But I don't, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. <clears throat> I'll keep these posted. If I change it back to original, I'll post it because I don't think I've got a, a video of this back to original, the way it would be when I bought it originally, because it was all silver hardware, uh, and I've never. Years ago, I lost it, but I changed the pickup years ago for something else, and I went up lost and losing the pickups. Well, I think you went into another Aria Pro, then I sold the Aria Pro with the pickups out of this in it. I don't know how, how I end up losing the pickups. If I did keep it like this, I would change the machine heads to full size elephant ears, black elephant ear ones. I don't know. So I'll just give you a wee thing of this. Like this. So that's everything up the way Duff would play it. Playing through my BH250, back chorus on. Uh, 
and what kind of spurred me on to do this is because I started watching the the aired. Uh, I'm actually watching the rest of it now. Uh, Not in your lifetime selects Latin America that, that aired last night on YouTube. I was watching that and kind of that between that and the pickups coming for it that kind of. Well, originally I was stri stripping it to put it back to originally and I thought, oh, I'll make it look like tough space. So that's how this is in the apartment. But I ram on. So, she's just a quick video. About five minutes away. So I'll play a wee bit of uh, guitar and then I'll call off. <laughs> These ones are going to be the original ones were, and it, the, the ones that I bought came out of a 1997 Aria Pro. Took me ages to find them because <coughs> obviously I wanted the ones from a 1997. Yeah, I think they came out of they didn't came out of an Aria Pro 2 Madax, I think they came out of a four string because at the same time as this came out, they brought out the Magna series as well, which is more like a kind of super strat shape. Well, a, a super P base shape, should I say, so it's pointier horns, but they're cut away here. But it came out the exact same time. So they came out of that. And I had a five string one of them, and that was quite quite, quite punchy. So I'm hoping they're going to be the same. Uh, so I don't know whether to keep it like this or not. Uh, subscribers, if you want to comment below, if you have a look back at what the Aria Pro 2 look like with the Aria Pro 2 headstock uh, then have a look at that and then see what you think do you, do you think I should keep it like this or do you think I should just put it back to original and I don't know I don't like this so yeah it's a nice space <laughs> Strip this tape, put it back to original. Decided at the same time, I didn't want to start doing wiring last night, so I just decided I'll strip this, have this ready to change the pickups in today, and then I'll strip the Billy Sheen. I wanted the black head stock of the Billy Sheen anyway, and I wanted that shim in. Then once I took it off, I went, I'm going to try that, I'm going to put it on. I've always wanted to put a pre paste neck on it because it looks, it looks nice. Uh, I put, what I did, I did put the Squire uh, neck plate on this uh, just because I put all the Aria Pro 2 into the one, into the one box so while I'm messing it out, I just plus I didn't want to put the Aria Pro 2 neck bolts are thicker so I didn't want to try and f put them into this neck then when I went and put it into that back into the Billy Sheen if I was going to do that, I'd have, I'd have ruined the, fucking, the neck the pilot holes, so that's why I just put the, the plate on this. So yeah, we quick the video away. But okay, so I'll keep it like this just now until I do the wiring in the belly sheen. That what I do to that. Then once I've done the wiring in the belly sheen, I'll decide what I'm going to do with this. Because uh, at that point, I would, once the belly sheen's finished, I would need to take the neck off, back off of this, and put it on at the belly sheen. So, so that's, that's just what I'm doing. 
just thought I'd put it on the video before, because if I do decide to do it, <coughs> I'd I'll document it on the video before I did it. I don't know. All oh, my other options to try and find another, another P bass neck. Anyway, I need to go. I'm going for lunch with my daughter. Uh, get done.